Saturday. We hope everyone's day is off to a magical start. Welcome to Disney on a Dime. I'm Tan, this is Eric, and today we wanted to come in and share with you our ideas on what you should do or our suggestions for um, those vacations where you, you're limited in the number of days. You only have three days. Yeah. I think we're going to talk about three days. If you only have three days for your Orlando or Disney vacation, hmm, what, what should do? you do? What should you do? Before I weigh in on this, can I, can I compliment you on your lovely Animal Kingdom inspired frog? Yes. I love my little cat can. Now is this one you made or is this? No, I actually purchased this one, but I, 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 I am known to pick up a little needle and thread and go to work. So <laughs> a matter of fact, if you haven't checked out that video, watch the video that my lovely wife made on what to wear at Disney. She made okay. a bunch of maxi skirts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, beautiful skirts. Thanks, so yeah, very creative. Um, so back on the subject, what to do if you've got, so this was a, a lot of you guys asked this question. Mm -hmm. We did a video on the optimal number of days. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk about three days in Orlando, but just bear in mind that guys, our suggestion was try to do at least five. At least. But we understand, look, that's not always possible for mm -hmm. a variety of reasons, so, mm -hmm. so we get it. Um, here's my take, and I'll let you weigh in. I'll give you my opinion, <laughs> see if you agree. I'm gonna do two versions. Mm -hmm. I say if you're going with the kiddies, mm -hmm. especially 10 and under, mm -hmm. um, my vote for uh, one day would be Magic Kingdom. Especially if it's your first trip. Yeah. You gotta do Magic Kingdom. Yeah, Universal Studios, um, and Disney Springs. Hmm. For three days. Three days. If, if you only have three days, those are yours. Can you enlighten us on why? So those are the two flagship parks mm -hmm. of both resorts. Okay. Um, okay. You know, Magic Kingdom is just one of those, like you said, the young kids. Yeah. If you have young kids and, and it's it. your first time yeah. going, you, we got to see the castle. We got to walk down Main yeah. Street. Um, They've got to see, the, you know, they have the characters obviously at all the Disney yeah. parks, but Let you're going to you see the most though. characters there. Let me ask you this. Can you see Cinderella anywhere else other than Magic Kingdom? No, you can see Sleeping Beauty and Epcot, but I mm -hmm. think you can only see Cinderella in Magic Kingdom. I've never seen Cinderella. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. her anywhere else. So if you have a little girl, it's yeah. your first time going, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and go to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. 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 Um, and I would say Universal because again, you know, Universal is a great park. Like this is Disney on a dime, but Universal is the newer park. Their rides, I feel, are a lot more high tech. Yeah. Um, the Harry Potter rides and the Transformers ride, which is one of your favorites, are like amazing. Every time we yeah. get off of those rides, we're like, man, yeah. how much money did they spend yeah. on these rides? Yeah. yeah. And then Disney Springs, because mm -hmm. we say, look, you need a down day. Mm -hmm. So if you're going for three days, even then you need a down day. So yeah. we say spend that day at Disney Springs. They've done a lot of great work mm -hmm. um, with Disney Springs. We actually used to like City Walk. Yeah, we did. Better than Downtown Disney. But yeah. now that they've turned Downtown Disney into Disney We're Springs. Back to Disney yeah, Springs. we like Disney Springs yeah. a lot. So we've got rave reviews. Yeah. All right. So for me, I like your Magic Kingdom okay. for the reasons we both just shared. Okay. Um, and I, I love Disney Springs okay. also because, you know, you need that down day. Disney Springs has shopping, it has food, and it also has entertainment, yeah, you know, with all the music and the singers and you just... You can do the balloons, yeah, you can do just, the boats. Yeah. Yep. So Disney Springs, but I think I will take out Universal. I love Universal, right. but I love Epcot even more. Uh, well, so, so. <laughs> now my other suggestion, now keep in mind, I said if you got 10 and under. Mm -hmm. My other suggestion would be if it's if it's like me and you going, mm -hmm. yeah, no Magic Kingdom, switch Magic Kingdom for Epcot. So yeah. Epcot, Universal, and Disney Springs. Do you, does that, do you agree with that? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. But if you're only doing three and you have the young, you, you know, your young kids, um, for me, Magic Kingdom, Epcot as opposed to Universal and of course Disney Springs. Now I want to say this too, you know, we love Universal. Mm -hmm. um, I think right now Universal has overall better rides. Disney is an experience. Yeah. They own, I mean Disney owns every intellectual property. They own <laughs> Star Wars, they own Marvel, they own the Disney princesses. Yeah. There's all the Disney characters so it's hard to beat that for nostalgia. Yeah. Um, I would also say the Disney parks are going through a transition. Yeah. Hollywood Studios is bare bones bare right bones. now. Um, when they build, <laughs> so they're building Cars Land, yeah. which will be a land that's themed after the movie Cars. Mm -hmm. It's going to be similar to what they've done out in California. Yeah, I, and you and I have had the discussion that we felt that they've kind of they waited a little they bit. They waited late. too long to do they that. They waited a little really bit did. long on yeah. that one. And the Star Wars, they're doing Star Wars land. Mm -hmm. When those are built, Hollywood Studios is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's um, going to be amazing. <laughs> and then. 
Avatar Land, which mm -hmm. I think is opening at the end of May. So unfortunately, we're going to miss that because we're going too soon. Yeah, yeah. But um, at the end of May, Avatar Land. So that could flip it. If Avatar Land is as, I mean, it took them forever to build it. How long do you think it took them to build it? Years. Yeah. What, about five years at least? It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. So if this is awesome, if they took that much time on it, it should be awesome. So mm -hmm. that may flip it back to Animal Kingdom or eventually Hollywood Studios. Yeah. But we'll see. that's where we're at right now. Well, that's it guys. We hope that you have found this video to be, as always, informative. And so, until next time guys, don't forget to make everything magical. Bye guys.